coming up. I catch up with my old mate, David Guetta. My mum fancies you. So. <laughs> <laughs> and as summer draws to a close, I play my final festival. All right, here we are. Just arrived in Golden Square. We're at KISS. Can't wait to get in there and meet Majestic. And we're going live on air, back to back. It's going to be an absolute party, come on. Hello, hello. My boy. So, you good? How are you? Madge has become a really good friend of mine. I've got so much respect for him. I thought at first, I was like, I'm not going to like this dude. Look at him, <laughs> he's in his pants with six pack. It's the white briefs and the, the sparkly headphones. Yeah, the sparkly headphones <laughs> and the GHD hair. It's just, it's oh, tremendous. Something's never changed though. No. Something's new. <laughs> Me and Madge go back to the resorts, the party islands, the Zannies, the Malias, the Magaloos. We both did that grind on the resorts. We both made our names out there. Those were long summers. They were the best memories of my life. And he did that with me. I had a few uh, resort wives, though. You had bare resort wives, <laughs> bruv. Every time. The worst one was, I was like, literally, this is how much of a brother I am to you. I'd come out of the club and go, Madge, I need you to get this one away. <laughs> and I was just like, what's that, Nicole? And like, literally, and you just do the old. <laughs> Yeah, she turned around, Joe, Joe. I'm like, I think he's gone to the other club. <laughs> so me. many times you did come in my back Mate, with him. I, I come through like the you know, in shining armor, bro. You come here, and it's a reminder of that hunger we had as kids yeah. listening to EZ yeah. on Kiss. Yes, it was so always Zed. My journey with Kiss goes back to like queuing up at Westfields. Did you do this? Trying to do the Kiss Chosen one. Wow. And, and like, you know, back in the day. What, to I, be a presenter? Yeah. Wow. And I, I, honestly, you were ready for the breakfast show. Yeah, <laughs> mate, I, I didn't even get past like the first round of Useless. it. Useless. <laughs> I know, useless. I, was, I wasn't good, man. But I went back like two, three years in a row and, and just kept going back and I was like, one day I'll get on it. And just kept firing in guest mixes and email and yeah. email. And then finally, years later, I got on there. You might look at Joe and think, He's one of these sort of new age, like reality TV slash DJs, but he's not. He's a DJ first and foremost, who I respect because he's done the hard hours. And that's the thing a lot of people don't understand. There's no reason why he can't become the David Getters or the Calvins, because then it's like, right, Vegas residencies. Why not? Why, why is Joel not going to have a Vegas residency? Big up to everyone who's been tuned in tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed the vibes. What an absolute buzz. I love doing radio. It's late. I need to get home. Bring it on. I'm here at Tile Yard Music. This is my management. So far, we've had amazing two years together and I'm excited for the future. So um, we've got a stacked release schedule, right, over the next few weeks. I mean, we did discuss that we want to try and get three tracks a year out. I need that next single out before yeah. Christmas. Yeah, 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 yeah. If we're going to do it before Christmas, that means the 29th of October, which is your print works date. And what a release party if my next single comes the night that I headline print work. Yeah. One little thing. I think Ed Sheeran's dropping his album on that day. If we go the week before, we avoid all that. For me, the sooner the better. Yeah. You know how much I love this next single. We are so busy right now. We're in the middle of a huge campaign. You know, I'm constantly on tour. I'm lucky though, because I I do believe I've got the best team in the game. You're always on call. It could be any time of night, any situation. I speak to him probably more than my girlfriend. Oi, oi, there she is. You all right? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Getting the makeup done, yeah? I feel like you're, al you're always on shoots, like you're always working. Yeah, there's always a lot of things going on, but so are you. You're on planes every day going somewhere. I was on a helicopter the other day. <laughs> I actually saw that. <laughs> How are you feeling about the track, though? It's going well, isn't it? I feel so good. Like, I. I feel like I know that it's going really well when my like family chat is blowing up. They were like, we love the new song, it's so good, we want it to go to number one. And I'm like, yes, thanks auntie. Fingers crossed we'll be a uh, top five on Friday and that's gone pretty quick. It's only been out for three weeks. <laughs> my dad has been doing a lot of research on you. Has he? He's like clued up on all the facts. He's a big fan. <laughs> no way. Oh God, I, the amount of things on Google that, that, that dad could have found out about me from the past. Oh God. <laughs> See you later, Charlie. Bye-bye. 
All right, here we are. We've just arrived at Sundown Festival. The lineup is amazing today. I can't wait to get on stage and drop my bangers. I can hear the music already. Let's go and smash it. Last festival of the summer season. How's it going, man? It's been a dream come true to come back to live music again and being able to play my hit records to crowd. So yeah, let's finish it with a bang. So my bro, Charlie Sloth is here today. He's actually on stage right now. I'm going on after him. I haven't seen him in a while, so it'd be really good to meet up with him here and catch up about yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. That, man. How you been, man? Yeah, yeah, so you good. killing it, bro. All over uh, the world. Thank you, bro. Congratulations. Charlie, if you don't know him, get to know him. He's a massive name in the radio industry. Yeah. I've been watching, bro. So happy for you, mate. Oh, mate. Could have okay. a better person. Oh, oh, mate, I appreciate it so much. Well done, bro. So today, my set's actually quite short. Um, there's so many artists on the main stage, so I've only got a 45-minute set. Yeah. All right, sweet, that's it. When you play a main stage set, your sets are normally shorter, so you've got to go there and attack it and play a power set. Like quick transitions, anthems, get the crowd singing. You've just got to be on the ball and just drop banger after banger after banger. And that's what I just did. Best feeling is when you're on the decks and you're mixing in a banger. The crowd don't know it's coming, but you know it's coming. And you can feel it's going to go off, and you know it's going to go off. And then that moment where you just transition into it and the whole crowd goes, boom. I'm excited for what's more to come, you know what I mean? Like more moments like that. We've got live music back again. That's my that's gonna be my life now. This is what I've always wanted to do. I'm just backstage here at Sundown Festival, you won't believe who's just stepped in. It's Joel Curry. <laughs> Some people think he's a male model, others know him as a DJ extraordinaire. <laughs> He's had more hits than me recently. Joel, tell us what it's all about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, being backstage with the other artists and they know who I am is such a nice feeling because these are people I've looked up to for years and they're coming to say hello to me. <laughs> so we come on stage and dance with me and flex. Mate, I'm not. <laughs> come on. Come and flex for me. Some, some poses there. A couple of flexes. <laughs> Probably get a bottle thrown at me. Yeah, you will. <laughs> and that was Joel Corey. <laughs> David Getter is in town, so I'm going to catch up with him right now. We had our single bed together with Ray. He's become a good friend of mine. Yo, bro. Great to see you, man. It's very funny because I know him from his music. And one day he called me, he said, like, look, I heard the song. I would love to work on it. What do you think? And I'm like, yeah, of course, I love your record, it's fantastic. So how is doing the record? I love this record. It's doing well, man. It's top five this week, so everyone's happy. Of course, you've been killing it back to back to back to back. <laughs> it's insane. And we got more to come, bro. Oh, they haven't even no, heard what we've got coming. When the <laughs> next one that we have drops, it's, it's over. Game like, it's like, over. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, really. Yeah. We'll, we'll get it finished. We have to because like, I didn't get this type of feeling for a long time to be like obsessed with a song. I feel the same way, bro. This record that we started, it's it's just so crazy. It's gonna be like one of our biggest record in our career. I think I might be wrong, but usually I'm not. So life is good uh, other than music. Life is good, busy, busy. I'm going to America at the end of this week. You're gonna tour? Yeah, yeah, my first US tour. So no. it's my first, so I'm excited. Oh my God, I'm playing, I'm playing it live. Because America is a different beast, and huh? you'll see. Do you think they'll like my style, or do you think no, they'll switch I'm up sure, a bit? No, I'm sure they will like your style. You know, making music is something so intimate. So for me, it's important to do it with people that I appreciate. And it, it, it's such a lovely person, you know? And, and it's funny, like, anyone, like, it's the same when I speak to Ray, like, everyone loves him. You know, David, that my mum fancies you, so. <laughs> <laughs> One day, you want to arrange a date? <laughs> not a date, no, no. I said she could have a <laughs> selfie with you one day, but so not weird, a date. <laughs> <laughs> this oh, is so God. funny. Listen, you know my mum fancies David. I already told him though, and he's always having bad with me about it. <laughs> I'm sure she's a wonderful lady because, I mean, he's the nicest person on the planet, and he's a handsome guy, so for, for sure his mum has to be beautiful but this would be highly inappropriate, I feel. <laughs>
One day, Debs is going to meet David and I'm going to get a photo of them together. <laughs> So uh, good to see you. So, thank you, man. Thank you very much for everything. Good luck on the new record. Thank you. I'm and good. I'm so ready for the oh, next one. What advice would you give to Joel? I don't know if I want to give him advice because he's doing everything so right. <laughs>